What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a quick video on framing the hangout back to the girl's place after a public date, okay? This was a question in my mastermind recently. I just did a full one hour Facebook Live on Sunday about this. I'm gonna kind of give the high level summary of this, okay? So it starts off, let's assume you don't have your own place, okay? I get a bunch of clients, live with their parents, they have roommates or, or for whatever reason they're on a military base, they can't fucking bring girls back there. Whatever the reason may be, you don't have your own place. Um, so what you're going to want to do is set the date as close as possible to her place. All right. So you're going to say, what area do you live in? Oh, I live here, but such and such. Cool. Is there a, what's a good coffee shop near your place if you're doing a coffee date? What's a good bar near your place if you're doing a drinks date? What's a good restaurant near your place if you're doing a restaurant date? Okay. Then you also want to give some reason okay why you like don't have your own place okay so what i'll typically do it's not often that i don't have my own place but if i if i don't for whatever reason okay say i'm staying with a friend he's like you can't bring chicks back here say i'm with a girl somewhere but i want to fuck other girls okay quality problems um the good excuse for what to say and again this is not true and i'll give you i'll give you a one to use that's more morally acceptable to you guys. But I think a good way to do it is to also demonstrate value at the same time. So you can say, oh, I have a penthouse apartment downtown. It's currently being renovated. So right now I'm crashing with my parents, okay? I have a penthouse apartment downtown. It's being renovated. So right now I'm staying with a friend. Whatever it may be, okay? Um, or you can say you are in between apartments. I'm in between apartments. Um, my lease is ended. Or I just moved back to the area. Okay, you're giving some excuse. I just went back to the area. I'm looking. For, I'm currently looking for a place. Okay, that can go on forever. Let's say you have no intention of getting your own place, and you plan to be living at home for like the foreseeable future. Um, you can still say, "I just went back to the area, or I'm in between places. I'm currently staying with my family. My grandmother's sick. I'm currently staying with family to spend more time with them. Whatever. Okay, you don't want to say I'm a fucking loser. I'm broke, and so I'm staying with family because I can't afford my own place. Okay. <laughs> For those of you that want to be extremely honest, you can say that if you'd like to, and, and you can get no results from that. Okay, so you're going to set the, the date right near her place, okay? Now, from there, or, or actually in advance still, I like to screen, okay? Because here's the thing. She may live with her parents. She may have a roommate that doesn't allow people over, or she herself may have a hard rule that she can't allow strangers over her place, Okay. So what I'll typically do, because you don't want to be in a situation where you go on a date and things are going well and you're like, yeah, we should go back and hang out at your place after. And she's like, oh, I actually live with my parents. Oh, I actually, this was especially true with these younger chicks, okay, which is, I usually date younger chicks. A lot of you probably are too. Um, they live with their parents. They don't have their own fucking place because they can't afford it. Or they have a roommate that's a, that's a bitch or whatever, has a rule that you can't come back there. Okay, so you want to determine that in advance because once you're on the date, and you're trying to set up things to go back to her place, and she doesn't have a place, and that's not a viable option. Now your only options are public sex, for instance, in your car, or in a uh, handicap accessible family bathroom, <laughs> okay? Changing room at a mall, oh, let's go look for new jeans, okay? And then you pull into the changing room. Or let's go walk around the mall, and then you, you go into the family handicap accessible bathroom where they change diapers and all that shit. With the changing station, you can lock the door, okay? But that is not preferred or very comfortable, and it can also carry legal risk. So I'm not advising you to go break laws and have sex in public. I'm saying that's your only option, potentially, if you do not determine in advance if you can pull back to her place. So what I'll typically do, and again, you don't want to put them to a decision in advance. Like, let's go hang out at your place for sure and make, her, make a decision there. Okay, Especially if it's an online lead, there's no investment yet. She hasn't spent any time with you there's no emotions invested in you she hasn't even seen you in person if it's an online lead okay and if it's a night game or, or daytime lead it was probably a brief interaction or even if it wasn't she, there's still not enough investment it's, it's gonna be a very hard thing for her to comply with okay so rather than putting her to, to a decision you just kind of subtly set the frame without putting any pressure on it so the way you do that is you say um you know if things go well, like if we have chemistry during coffee, I'm in a fun mood today to watch a funny movie. Maybe we can watch a movie at your place 
after and then you want to like immediately like next text right after that or even in the same text be like but let's see how we connect first lol like don't want to get ahead of myself or oh i'm not saying like we should go there you know i'm not saying we should go there i'm not saying we will even want to go hang out at your place after i'm just thinking about options i can't invite you to my place because i'm currently between places i can't even invite you to my place because i'm currently having my place renovated okay does that make sense so to recap you want to set logistically the the date venue as close to her house as possible secondly you want to kind of precede the idea that you guys might be able to hang out at her place after but you want to make it very low pressure and non-committal by saying no, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, or I'm not saying this will happen, or that we'll even want to, LOL, but I'm in a very fun mood today, and I really feel like watching a comedy movie. I really feel like splitting a bottle of wine. I really feel like ordering Thai food to go, like, and just sitting in front of Netflix or whatever. Whatever your seed is back home for the activity you're going to do back, you're going to seed it to her house, okay? And the reason why you do it in advance so that can pop up hard objections about going back to her place, such as, oh, well, that's actually not possible because I don't have my place. So that's actually not possible because uh, I have a roommate and she has policy that she doesn't let people over. Or that's actually not possible because I have a policy where I don't let strangers into my house. Okay, another thing to keep in mind, it's going to require more compliance to, or not more, but yes, more compliance, but there's going to be, she's going to be more reluctant to let someone come to her house versus pulling to your house. It's easier for them to go to a stranger's house because if they become in a situation where they feel uncomfortable or awkward, they can just leave. Whereas if you're at her house, it's harder for her to like kick you out. Okay. And you're the, the stronger, more dominant sex. And also, um, and then you know her fucking address. Okay. So she doesn't want to be in that situation sometimes. That being said, I have plenty of clients that I've taught how to fuck like crazy at these other girls' house. I myself have done it in brief periods of time where I have not had my own place. Okay. Now, during the date, um, you want to be finding out some logistical information. What area do you live in exactly? Oh, cool. Um, do you have roommates? Oh, cool. All right. Sometimes the roommate is fucking objecting. Okay. I remember one of the situations I had, the girl was fully down. So, yeah, you can come back. Let me just check. Let me just make sure it's okay with my roommate. Okay. Now, in the sales world, if you were to like knock cold on a door and you're pitching like a, a security system or you're pitching a fucking water softening product or whatever it may be, um, you always ask the question, are you the decision maker? Okay, because lots of times what you have is a wife that's home because she doesn't work. She's a homemaker. You have the man who's the decision maker. He's at work. You can sell her 100% on the sale, but it doesn't fucking matter because the dude is going to be like, I'm not spending five grand on this thing, right? He, has no, he hasn't been sold on it. He has no idea who you are, okay? and he doesn't understand the value, and you haven't been able to answer his objections. Okay, so lots of times what you want to do is come back when both of them are around okay so you can pitch them both at the same time but in this example here where the roommate is objecting which they have to run it by the roommate and the roommate is objecting it is not possible to to meet with them both at once and and uh convince the roommate that you're cool enough okay and not a fucking weirdo and answer objections instead what you can do is channel compliance to the girl that you're on a date with since she's already down and you can have her, um, well, tell the roommate it's cool, like, that, that that you got to spend time with me and that I'm a cool dude, I'm a normal dude, ha, ha, ha. Or you can, I've had to do this before, you can have her call the roommate on speakerphone and be like, hey, what's up? I know you're, I know I'm, like, a stranger to you, ha, ha. I'm really having fun with Jessica. Um, we're just going to come there and have, like, a drink. We're just going to come there and watch a show. We're just going to come there and whatever. Um, promise I'll I'll be a fucking normal, normal guy and not, like, sketch you out, ha, ha, ha. Right. And just her hearing you be normal on the phone, not try to be normal, but actually be normal and be, um, you know, social and make it all like a playful thing. That's going to set the roommate at ease. OK. Um, and that allows you to objection answer over the phone. Right. The roommate might be like, yeah, you know, like it's just nothing against you. But, you know, we had a bad experience once or like or like I don't know you like, you know, and it's my personal space. Right. Like this is the same type of shit like when you want to take a girl home from the club and the friends are like, well, we don't really know him. At that point, you should be like, hey, I'm John. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I think what someone says is really cool. I promise I'll I'll uh, get her home safe tonight. Like, don't worry. Like, she's safe with me, etc. 
Okay. So to recap, um, set the date, what place is near your house for coffee, what place near your house for restaurant, for bar. Okay. I'm in a good mood today. I'm in the mood to watch a comedy movie, in the mood to drink a bottle of wine, etc. Whatever your activity is you want to do after. Okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but let's say if we have good chemistry, that could be a cool thing to do after. I'd invite you to my place, but, and again, you don't want to have her make a decision. Like, can we go to your place after? Because if you do that, your odds are going to go way down because now there's pressure on her before investment and compliance have been built up and she's more likely to say no. Okay. Instead, you just toss the idea out there, but then you soften it and you remove the pressure. Then you build up the vibe. You see things back to her house further. Once the vibe is built, you find out the logistical situation about what you would be dealing with back at the house or if there's going to be a roommate objection and then you deal with those things accordingly by channeling compliance through the girl or by getting on a phone call and answering objections on the fly that is that damn i'm looking healthy as fuck i'm gonna probably make a health video i'm, I'm taking like all these optimum nutrient compositions i'm taking like 50 pills a day juicing vegetables uh alcohol has been cut out completely for six weeks now and i plan on never going back to it holy shit right um but yeah i actually have been have had repeated different chicks and even uh a random dude i was talking to people are guessing that i'm like 26 27 i just turned 36 last week i'm really big on anti-aging and longevity stuff now i have like 15 books i'm reading on it I'm taking various anti-aging supplements i'm applying my analytical and systematic thinking abilities to health optimization and, and life extension. So I will maybe make a separate channel and or put some videos on this channel about that. I'm synthesizing all the information from those 15 books into one document. Um, I've been getting a bunch of emails, as I mentioned in the last video, that I'm running an Occam's discount behind the scenes, Occam's razor discount that covers my entire night game, my entire day game, my entire process on dates, as well as over 70 infields to keep, as well as all my objection handling and everything else Okay, it's, it's basically all my stuff except for my texting, which is in the leads machine. If you're interested in that Occam's discount, um, email me at johnanthonylifestyle.gmail.com. Take care, everyone. Have a blessed and beautiful day. See you there.